crooked i'm not ready yet but hello 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 everyone thank you for tuning in i am jay lee this is jay lee's corner y'all know i'm always moving stuff okay this is my review for the braxton family values with only one braxton um season six episode 12 oh these boobs girl what you be doing girl anyway y'all know i'm, I'm be trying to show too much i know youtube be funny about that anyway I hope everyone is having a great Friday because by the time y'all see this, it will technically be Friday because it's already Friday. So have a great, great, great Friday. I will be live tonight on my YouTube as usual. Y'all know every Friday, 10 p.m. is you know what I'm saying? Whole little live chat with Jay Lee or whatever. Okay, so go ahead and make sure you get your questions together because I will be live tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, y'all know I live in Michigan. Um, yeah, so go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Okay, because if you're here, you're probably already here. And if you keep coming, you don't subscribe. Well, I mean, I guess thank you anyway because at least you are viewing me. Okay, um, and then do not forget to hit the notification notification bell to let you know when I have new videos up because you know who knows but I'm gonna post something so this particular episode you know we know that the other Braxton's ain't nobody on here but Tracy we know that and now we got these extra ass cast members within um her friend Nikki what's her name Nikki yeah Nikki um Phaedra Lunell and um Natalie Nunn. I see. I thought Natalie Nunn would be the one to get on my nerves the most, but surprisingly, it's Phaedra. Well, I kind of knew that too because I can't stand Phaedra's ass at all. But you know, see, Natalie Nunn surprisingly did not like make me want to punch her in the face bad girl club style anyway and they all have like little you know confessional little looks and stuff i mean they ain't dressed up or whatever it's how they look at the little retreat thing or whatnot but they you know got confessional little looks and they talking to the people as if they a real show member but they not they just on here for a little little bit of a guest a little guest spot um so we also see they are you know dr Con i don't know that man i cannot pronounce Dr. D -d 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 names or whatever. I call him Dr. Congo because he always say how he's from the Congo. So, Dr. Congo come in in a whole shiny suit. I say he looked like he's selling seven day insurance at the little strip mall. You know, we have seven day insurance here in Michigan sometimes. So, you know what I'm saying? When you, when you need to get your little, your little tag for your car, you go right down to LA Insurance, you get a little seven day policy from a little shiny suit man. He usually a little black man or a little white man or a little, you know what I'm saying, Arabic man or whatnot. He got a whole little shiny suit. It's always in a little strip mall, baby. He looked like a shiny suit wearing, seven day insurance selling, you know what I'm saying, Dr. Congo. Anyway, I'm my girl back. Um, and then Nikki, you know, who is Tracy's friend, thinks he's cute. Talking about he's cute, ugly. I'm like, he's ugly, cute. He ain't cute, ugly. I mean, either way it go, he does not, he's not my type. But I get what she meant by him being ugly cute. A lot of people are ugly cute. Meaning, you don't look right, but you look right. Like, it's something about y'all can't put my finger on, but I like it. So, it's the whole ugly cute thing. It, I do really good at night. You know what I'm saying? The later it is, like, right around a little 3 and 4 o'clock mark, 3, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., I be in my bag. Anyway, so it's something in between there. So, you know, they are there for like a little three-day little um, fitness, wellness um, retreat or whatnot, and he like, you know, we're gonna do some things, and at the end of it, y'all gonna do like a, this thing called the what you kept calling it. I don't remember the word, but it's like a little, um, like a military type, um, drill they're gonna do at the end, you know, because I, because this is the show they have to do anyway. We do see how he said how you know the, the whole what was it called? I don't remember. He wasn't called the Congo girl. Um, so, we got the military, the the, the military tr team building 
thing because we gonna call it. But I'm like, how is she here doing team building with some strangers? I mean, she only know Nikki Watch. I don't look. I don't want to build with people I don't want to see on a regular basis. Like, I mean, if you gotta build with your, your coworkers, I get that. You work with them every day. Your family, I get that. You gotta be around them all the time. But I'm like, these are some strangers. These are some, you know one friend Nikki and three full fledged strangers who she not gonna really be hanging out with in regular life. Now they kept talking about how they was gonna have a TV show with 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 um uh Tracy and Natalie um none the nun girl and also Lunell. You know, after watching and, and Phaedra, after watching this and them on here, I don't wanna see that shit. Three friends and a goddamn, I mean, three friends and a goddamn friend. No, thank you. I don't, I'm, I'm good, love. Enjoy. Anyway, we see how the doctor does all these assessments. I need to see his license. To see a licensed person from America, like, where he get, like, did he get, where did the license come from? Is it from an accredited college? Like, is it an online thing? Like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? You can get registered you, to be a pastor online. Is he like an online doctor? I'm not sure. So, he's doing these assessments. And... I'm gonna say this, okay? You know, the people who they have for, you know, again, Lou Nail, who's a plus size older woman, you know what I'm saying? Nikki is a thickums, you know what I'm saying? She's a thickums or whatever, but she, even though she's lost some weight, she's still a thickums. Um, Natalie is, she, you know, had a baby, so she got a little baby weight on her. And then, um, Tracy, you know what I'm saying? Tracy is a little, little thickums, you know what I'm saying? Tracy is, you know, whatever. But Phaedra is a whole skinny girl out here, okay? She is a whole skinny chick. So I'm like, what? What I would just like what I don't you know but we know she did it for a check anyway how when the doctor Congo said to Lou Nail and to Natalie that fifty percent of your body is fat I say bitch ain't no way they both is at fifty no Natalie ain't that big bitch Natalie's tall okay and she's a little thick but she just had a baby oh not what well, wasn't yesterday but she recently within the past year had a baby or whatnot and her you know. And I know everyone's um, fat percentage is based on their height, body weight, all that stuff. But I'm like, I, anyway, you know what I'm saying, Lunel? Like, look, I didn't come here for this. I did not come here for no fitness, you know, evaluation. I came to relax. I think they all came there for a check, okay, to chill out on the show and get a check, okay. And then I felt like Lunel got there, and she's like, wait a minute, I gotta like do exercise and shit. Like, it's a, it's a real ass like. Fitness retreat, bitch. This ain't what I signed up for. And you know what? And the trooper, as a plus size president, CEO of the these United States, you know what I'm saying? I'm the spokesperson for the Fat Girl Association. No woman, no what, no person wants to be the MCM, the true fat girl on anything. And out of all them women, Lunell is the fat one. Like no tea, no shade. You know what I'm saying? I can speak. I can, I can speak truth from a, per, a, a, point of, a point of truth. No one wants to be the only plus size person on some fitness treatment thing because again, you're going to be made out to be like, you know what I'm saying, she needs it the most, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you didn't really come here for that, okay? Like, I, you want to be able to say, you know what, I want to go and get information on my body. Because she said like, is I gotta get weighed too and they're like, yeah, she's like, oh shit. Again, I don't think she knew this coming in, but she did it, uh, you know, anyway. But I'm like, again, what the fuck is Vader there for? Okay, not that her her body's perfect, but I'm like, she's on the fitness retreat, bitch, bye. Okay, I ain't got time for it. Anyway, you know, we see them all get into like a little ice bath or whatnot. You know, Tracy gets in because Tracy did it before a couple seasons ago when he had to do it before. I've never done an ice bath. I don't think I ever would want to. I could not stand cold water. I hate even getting in pools. I mean, I, I get in them, but I hate when you first get in the pool and the water cold as fuck. So, you know what I'm saying? Ice baths could not do it. I would not want to be the one to do an ice bath. I'm good. You know, but she gets in or whatever, but she's on, she's in there for a couple minutes and she's, you know, relaxed, relating and releasing. But she then soon got out because she said she felt heart palpita heart palpitations. She said that she um she said she said she's a fear with me and she has like heart issues or whatnot. And so she said I felt myself, you know what I'm saying? The I could feel my heart so I, I knew to get out. And she was small. Okay, she was very, very smart. Now Nikki got in, but Nikki got in and got right back out. <laughs> he said, Fuck you. I do it. Because I bitch. I remember I was, what was I eating? I was eating watermelon. My refrigerator gets very, very cold. Um, and I love cold fruit. 
And so I was eating some watermelon that I had bought from Kroger. And it was so cold. And I kept eating it. And my whole mouth was hurting. So, you know, when you put cold things on your body that's damn near freezing cold, it, it hurts. Like they said, it feels like pins and needles. And that's what the fuck it feels like. So she got in and got right foot back out. Like, you know what I'm saying? I felt like my coochie to the ground. Once my coochie hit the water, I felt like I was having grandkids. I said, well, girl, that's some things to do. Anyway, Lunell got in and stood up, and then she did not sit down. I might put my foot, my toe, in some cold water. If it's really, really hot, like, I can't be in room temperature place and get in some ice cold. I, like, I need to be, like, it need to be, like, 100 degrees outside. You know what I'm saying? And then they need to hurry up, put the ice in the tub, and I'll get in it because it's so hot outside. And so it won't be that bad. But I'm not going to be in, like, a 70-degree, you know, insulated house building, uh, the medical facility where it's already cold and air conditioning and all, and get in some ice bath. No, thank you. I'm good. I don't want to die. Okay? My foot don't need to be numbed. No, 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 no. I don't want That's how you take kidneys. I want my kidney. Anyway, Phaedra said, talking about when Phaedra got in and go say, it was real sexy. Phaedra be act like a whole slut sometimes. She gets on my goddamn on nerves. Um, Natalie got in. I like how Natalie got in and she said for her it was a mental win that she got in and she stayed in for the amount of time that he counted down. I said how it also helped her focus and stay calm. She said I need to do that when I be want to pop off. I can just get in the damn ice bath and not punch somebody in the face. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes if you pissed off you do need to have something that calms you down. Me, I just like, you know what bitch? <sighs> You know, if I had a, you know what, bitch, it calms me right down. Like, it makes, it reminds me to calm down. You know what, bitch, it calms me the fuck down. And it prevents me from cussing somebody out, punching somebody in the face, or being like working in fire because I didn't cuss somebody out at the wrong damn time. Anyway, it was cool. We also see Dr. Congo, he does get in. And Nikki, oh, honey, rubbing on him. I'm like, Nikki, what is you? That is, don't give him a me too moment, a moment. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he said that she, he said that she made him blush, which he does not do often. Because she, you know what I'm saying? She liked, that she liked that man. So, that was cute or whatnot. Um, we do see, um, them all working out. Now, Lunel was like, look, I don't do physical activity. She looked like she don't. And that is no tea, no shade. Because I know people say, people be in my comment section all the time. You should work out. You should walk around. Bitch, how do you not know that's what I'm doing when I'm not here? Okay? You only see part of me, bitch. You don't know. When I'm not on this camera, I am walking around. I am actively, you know what I'm saying, being active in my life, bitch. But you know what I'm saying? I do feel like Lunel look like she don't do, do much because she's older. Okay? And she just, like, she talks slow. She moves slow, bitch. When you see me in these streets, bitch, I'm gone. Okay, I'm. <laughs> I ain't know, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no slow with me, girl. You know what I'm saying? I be on the go all the time, all day. Anyway. But also, I'm not. I'm not surprised that she said that she does that she does not do things physical because she's at the gym working out and flip flop slides. Don't nobody go to the gym and flip flop slides and do some real work. No, you don't. You, you don't. You know what I'm saying? You need some good shoes for some grip for the weight. She needs some good shoes to be walking around so your feet don't hurt. You know what I'm saying? You have to have comfortable clothes on that you don't feel constricted too much. You know what I'm saying? You want like a you don't fit anything too, but you know you don't want to be like in the whole uh, goddamn girdle. You know what I'm saying? You I don't. Bitch, I don't want to. I don't want to feel uncomfortable walking around like that. You know what I'm saying? You want to, but she, she was in flip flop slides. I say she ain't come to be for real. She didn't. Um, <laughs> but I'm like, who does that? So we even see her like Miss Aldo Nail, like you know what I'm saying, the whole hammer. Boom, you hit the tire. She hit the tire one time, and it took her like a good 15 seconds to pick up the hammer and swing it. And she said, I can't pick up hammer, I can't swing hammer because I got, I got, you know, bad, um, my wrists are messed up or whatever. I'm my like, girl, okay. So we do see them doing all kind of little exercises and, you know, the, the ropes. I told you, but <laughs> don't think I don't be doing things. You know what I'm saying they doing the ropes, um, flipping the tires. I think at one point it was like also pushing ice with gloves on. So they even do like some butt suctions. It's the people who come and they put like suction cups on your butt and it sucks out like <laughs> I don't know what I'm not putting nothing on my butt. Anyway, we also see them see them then go do yoga. Okay, and Lunell said, you know what? I got bad knees. I'm like, girl. You got bad everything. Now I do have bad knees too, but my bad knees. See, this is, this is the down part, the downside with me. I do have bad knees from you know what I'm saying. I, I think I told y'all before. Um, like eczema. You know what I'm saying. I would say with a baseball bat. So back 
long, long, long time ago. So my knees have always been messed up from that. And then my car accident in 2016, um, it was a hold down on my heart, on my hand. Jesus Christ. Um, the car accident I was in in 2016, it messed my back up. So when I do do what I do, I just have to take it easy and know what works for me. Okay, but I'm like I can get them bad knees. Ain't no joke. In my bad back, it be it go make me so mad. Anyway. So, um, they at yoga, and then here comes some goats. I'm like, why are they bringing goats in? And not just regular goats, Nigerian goats. I'm looking like, you got goats from Nigeria? I'm like, did you fly them in? Like, how? Like, did they, I mean, Ni Nigerian goats. Okay. Anyway, it's for goat yoga. We saw this, I, I saw this on Basketball Wild, the season premiere, I think it was the season premiere of Basketball Wild, Jackie then went to Goat Yoga in LA. So I'm like, okay, that's a real thing? Goat Yoga? I'm like, people, honey, <laughs> Nikki don't say the white people get bored and do the weirdest shit when they run out of things to do. I, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to be around no animals and I'm, I, no thank you, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? The Goat antics were fun. You know, Phaedra got up and walked away. It was like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got this, I'm good. The ghost was just walking around, jumping on people. Hey, it was a little. It was funny. It was, it was nice to watch the show and giggle. Out. It was nice to giggle a little bit here and there. So you know what I'm saying. From there, we see Dr. Congo give them their little dinner, and I swear it looked like it was like maybe some fresh parsley. You know, like two things of fresh parsley. It looked like two little baby ass curly fries. I don't think that's what it was. Um, and then like a little mini, 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 mini meatball. Okay, that's what it looked like, and I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Okay, they said this is not even 300 calories. I said that's not a lot of food at all. Like, is it basically crumbs, bitch? I would be like, Oprah said, you know what I'm saying? We can eat what we want in moderation on that commercial. No, I'm not doing this, bro. Like, wait, no, at least give. Like, look, this, these are my. What's this? This is what I'm snacking on. Okay. Little walnuts. Little two walnuts here and there. I'll snack on little walnuts. Little, little dry peanuts. I do watermelons. I do strawberries. Um, I do pickles. <laughs> I snack on little, you know, little graham crackers here and there. I'm like, he gave them like a little some parsley. You know what I'm saying? Two little, it, it looked like two curly fries. I don't think it was. I didn't, I wasn't listening to her. I was like, that's not no real nothing i'm like they starving anyway nikki gonna say being a vegan is for dog it was for animals insects and people who can't go to whole foods to get some food i say girl tell me about it okay anyway so when he leave nikki had her own snacks phaedra had some snacks and then tracy had some wine phaedra also had some wine so of course they snacking on little chips snacking on some crackers here and there or whatever and drinking some wine but no tracy had alcohol from that whoever she she had i think it's like bourbon or some shit that she has a partnership with so she had that okay and so they having all the, the chips and dips and the cheese and crackers and stuff and the wine and stuff so they had a good old time and then they all go to sleep well tracy slept on the couch because she said she snore um because it was i think like maybe it was like only four beds you know it was five of them oh it was a five out of them three yeah because yeah, tracy was on the couch and two and two yeah so that happened then at like five o'clock in the morning, Dr. Congo come in. First of all, he came in in the dress. Okay, I'm not gonna act like that. That was not a dress. It was a whole night. It was a Nigerian mother dress. Okay, now I'm like, why is he in a Nigerian mother dress in the goddamn bonnet? Like, what? I'm like, I assume I'm like, is he trying to be funny and act like um Tanisha when she came when they're like banging pots because he had pots. And I'm like, what? What is what is happening? Like, why is he in the dress? Like, not, why is this man in the dress in the bonnet? Like, I'm like, I don't, I, I just can't do it. You know what I'm saying? He brings up, he said the dress is a traditional warrior dress. Okay. Anyway, he then finds all the snacks and shit sitting out. He finds all the wine, the liquor, whatever. Oh, no. Oh, hell no. So, he's having a whole fit about that or whatnot. Because his rule was, when you were here, you know, no outside foods, no snacks, no drinking. He had a couple rules for them to be there in the in the, in the facility. So, he was mad or whatever. You know, fake TV mad, though. So, he then has them out doing, like, boxing. So, they in the little boxing thing or whatever. He leaves. So, Phaedra had the boxing gloves on, fake punching. I'm not... 
I'm not I'm not messing with y'all. I'm not gonna break no nail. I gotta go get me some glue. I'm like, what? So she leaves and she goes back to the rooms. When she goes to the rooms, he the, the camera thing cut to him going through their bags. Okay, going through the bags. When I saw this scene, I said, Okay, I know what they're doing. They are having him go through their bags to find all the snack stuff to take it all out. It's a whole part of the show. I I got that's what was happening. Okay, that was my interpretation of it. Anyway, he see her, she see him, and then he like, you're not supposed to be here. She says, but I'm here. You're not supposed to be here. And she still goes about her room. So then he walks out because it looks really, really awkward. She then gets upset. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't paying me enough for this. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't paying me enough for all this. This is real Louis Vuitton luggage. You know what I'm saying? This ain't, nothing, this ain't no fake Louis Vuitton. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's a thief or whatever. Bitch, she gonna take your suitcase? <sighs> I are I see a mark on my suitcase. Y'all gonna places that mark is what Apollo left. Okay, that is not no mark, girl. Bad. And it was she made me so pissed off because you up here complaining, bitch, and you even you not even the start of a show. And I said to myself, he wasn't stealing. You know what I'm saying like he, it, I feel like pro, he was being video, he was being filmed. The producers knew what he was doing. Cause before she before she walked in, they had literal footage of him going through stuff, looking for the the snack shit. I'm like, I knew what was going on. This I'm not an idiot. Anyway, she's upset. What made me mad with Phaedra is one bitch, you not no star, and to say I don't know him, he could be a whole thief. You shooting a reality show, and if you don't think, oh, or at least production should have talked to her and said, you know what I'm saying. We had a plan, you know, he's not stealing, it was a, it was a whole, th we was filming him the whole time or whatever. Um, and I don't know if it was his decision to go through the luggage, if it was production's decision to have him go through the luggage, I don't, I know someone made that decision and, and the producers let it happen, let's say that. Because we did see a EP, in, 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 we did see like a, it was an executive producer or somebody came in and she said to them like, I don't know, you know, this ain't right, no man should be going through my luggage or whatever. And again, I also get how she... She felt coming in, seeing someone going through her things. However, I still felt like the whole, you know what I'm saying? This is, because her, I don't, this, this is real Louis for time. Bitch, he not going to unpack your stuff and take your luggage out and then be riding around. And free. No, girl, the fuck about I was like, again, and this a mark right here. Bitch, because Apollo left that fucking mark. Don't play with me. Anyway, the other, all the other ladies come back and they see he went through all they stuff. Okay, he went through everybody's little suitcase looking for the stuff. Again, I can see both sides of the coin. The ladies being upset, like, why are you going through our stuff? But also, I'm, I'm like, with y'all shooting a show. A show, okay? At a thing where he told y'all no contraband. And I'm like, now they're going to shoot a scene of him finding all of it. It was a part of the show to be fucking entertaining. Because when she said, y'all ain't paying me enough to do this. Because you knew you was coming here to film some, some, some shit, okay? You knew it wasn't, you knew some things was happening. And I'm like, you getting paid, period, girl. You ain't doing nothing else in life, okay? Leave me be. Anyway, you know, they all said how, you know, a man should not go through them things. Again, I get that. I'm looking at this through this the eyes of it's pro, excuse me, it's production. Okay, you're at you're at a retreat with a man who said he's from the Congo who's in a dress. And y'all probably were told to sneak in stuff. Because had y'all not been told to sneak stuff in, you would have had it out in plain sight. So I think you y'all y'all was told to bring stuff or have stuff. It was a whole girl it just made me frustrated i'm looking like you can't fool me bitch you can't okay and i guess phaedra was just the one who kept him come back and, and you know at that time or whatever because i don't think her going back was staged i think they didn't plan for her to go back and he was and he was kind of surprised when she came back because again they were shooting the scene anyway um what did she say? Because then she also, uh, afraid, afraid to piss me off, she also said, this show is supposed to be a show for women of a certain caliber. I said, yeah, bitch, of D-list celebrities, okay, because you, Lou Nail, we don't really know Nikki too much. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, uh, none, girl. Y'all all, all D-list people, okay? Y'all are D-list people on the Braxton show solely because the Braxton's ass is being some fucking brats. And Tracy, Tracy was the one who wouldn't was not being bratty. So you not know A-list celebrities. 
you ain't no, you know what I'm saying, upper echelon of, of people, okay? You are in the same boat with everybody else. That's why you there, okay? And I'm like, girl, the fuck about it. It just pissed me off. He do come back, you know what I'm saying, dressed normally now or whatever. And he asks uh, y'all, okay? And they explain how they were upset that he went through their things. He then apologized and said, I'm sorry for that. They also apologized for bringing contraband into the thing. But I'm like, again, I felt like it would have been more things shot had she not gotten upset. And how, because I think it would have been funny had they, like, brought out, oh, you brought this, brought that. But, you know what I'm saying, fade ruins everything. Anyway, you know what I'm saying, the last thing, they go climb a hill. Okay, they go climb a hill. Um, Nikki and Lunell sit out. Not surprised, you know what I'm saying, Lil is of, of age. And, you know, um, Tracy, Nelly, and Phaedra make it to the top. It was, uh, I was happy, uh, Phaedra, bye, bitch, okay? Bye, the fuck bye. Um, I do see how the way they made us think they will be on the show. It, again, it was mis not misleading, but we thought it was more than it was going to be. I like how they didn't really add them to the show. They just shot Tracy going somewhere, and they were also there. Um, but the whole time she did was talking about her sister, how she misses her sisters, and she wants to be to build back with her sisters or whatever. So the ending of her thing was like, yeah, I'm happy. I completed this. I made these new friends. But it, it reminds me of how much I miss my sisters. So we know what's coming. So the next episode, you know, we're going to see how that goes. Um, even though we see she going, it's like a little dude ranch to shoot some commercial for that damn whiskey and that's what they're gonna bring in Flavor Flav in New York so I'm guessing it's gonna be like maybe two shows or two more probably two more episodes where they have other people and then they're gonna bring back the Braxton's or whatever we do know the finale this the finale is gonna be a two-part finale where they do shoot with a Yanla we saw a little sneak peek today um, of it where they showed uh, Tracy talking, seeing how you know our sisters all kind of you know band against her. Um, girl, bye. We see Tony saying that you know how Tamar um, expresses herself by being you know her expressions. She wish she didn't do that. Even what she what and what made me mad with Tony when I seen this little clip. Tony said, "Cause no, Ayana said like." Is that uh, like an act that she does, or is it her? And Tony said, "No, it's her. Like that's that's how she's been since birth." And she's like, "Right. So if that's if that's really her. How can you be be disappointed in her as a person if she's always been that way from birth, bitch? Okay." And I felt like I do feel like that's the problem I have with the sisters who have a problem with Tamar. You know, that's your sister. That's how she like me. I'm always extra, okay? Ask my sister. I've always been this way. But she loves me, okay? She knows that this is just me. And I'm never... Even though she's like, Jaylee, stop. <laughs> she does that. But she has never said that she's disappointed in me as a person because of how I was born. How I was born. You know what I'm saying? For her, when she said, like, she's always... She's been away since birth. And then, so you have, you have not liked her sister since birth because of her always being... You know what I'm saying? She just... <laughs> She expresses herself with facial expressions. It's whatever. I can't wait to see it, bitch. I cannot wait to see it. And I'm done. Okay? Thank you guys for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee Corner. Peace.